after the Root Rider nerf, the rank one player in Legends League is still using Root Riders, but he's doing it with a completely different army comp. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use this because this is the next evolution of Root Rider spam. As you can see from the Legends League leaderboard here, Mock did reset first in the world as he has for the last couple of days. Don't worry about him being 24th, he does have a couple of attacks left to do today. And if we go to his army camp and have a look, look at this. A different Root Rider army comp, only six. I haven't seen this few in a Root Rider spam army before, but with the Root Rider nerf, we do need to bring more of the damage dealers, which in this are the Valks and the Super Pubs. And then we've got two Wall Breakers, which is more than you normally bring, and a different spell comp. And today I'm gonna show you how the two Wall Breakers and the Jump spell completely revolutionize this army comp. So we're going to do some live attacks with the army in today. In case you're wondering, wondering what hero equipment I'm using, you can see there and you can also see the pet combos as well. I know those icons are super small, but you <laughs> that's the best I can do. Now with this army comp, what you're going to do, you've got the two wall breakers and the jump spell for your king and queen to go in and get awesome value and set a nice funnel for your root riders. But you want to use your king and queen away from the defensive CC, unless you can pull it. I can pull this defensive CC pretty easily. I wish this army comp had some uh, archers in it, but here's what we're going to do. So we pull most of it. Nice. And then we're going to get the whole CC out here. And this is something you can do with Root Rider Spam. Just deal with the CC for free. Uh, it always helps out. I mean, I don't want to deal with the ice golems whilst I'm doing an attack. Look at how long that super barb is living. Now I've got to force my queen. I'm going to, because she's on the right side of center here, I'm going to force her to that side too. Hopefully, yep. And then essentially we're going to use the king and queen together. And in a perfect world, I'll get the town hall. In a more realistic world here, I probably won't. Hopefully that monolith locks onto the king. Beautiful. Oh, my queen could go anywhere here. Okay, she goes in. Beautiful. And now that we've set the funnel for that, look at how much tighter the funnel is here. King's going to go in. And now we're going to use the Root Rider spam here. We pop the Queen ability. That's fine. And now I'm, I'm going to use the RC with the Root Riders. But you don't necessarily have to do that. And look at this. The Queen's going to get the Town Hall here. Look at that. That could not have gone better. Now I'm going to finally pop my Warden ability. But that's okay. And now I can look at where I want to use the root right, uh, the overgrowth spell. So we're going to use it in the core. I, I'm more than happy for my troops to do a lap of the base. Let's freeze that. Perfectly timed. And look, my troops are... Like, maybe I shouldn't have overgrowth the core. I'm still kind of learning this. Uh, because, obviously... That area of the base with the invis tower is going to be really annoying to get to. But we've got a really nice skinny funnel here for all our troops. And we should be able to just overwhelm the, the back end of the base here. I mean, look at how many root riders we have. Quite ridiculous. They're going to come back to the core. Unfortunately, the warden's going to go down. But keep in mind, when you've got the eternal tome and the healing tome, the warden's not doing anything uh, when the ability ends. And yeah, this is pretty wrecked. And that right there, that Sui I did... Wasn't crazy. It wasn't something that's unachievable for you all at home. It's just if you use the king and queen together, you can get insane value. You've got two wall breakers. You've got all the super barbs in the world to funnel. And you've got the jump spell. Clear out a huge chunk of the base and the root riders will do the rest. An unusual looking ring base here, but we'll we'll just do the same approach we have uh, all the time. I don't want to sue in the CC. I don't want to deal with the CC. So we're going to sue in on the complete other side, which ends up being over here. I want to get rid of uh, the Archer Tower. No Super Barbs. That was... Well, one of them went the right way. This is costing a few too many Super Barbs for my liking. King, do not go around the outside. Good, he goes in. And now I'm going to cut off the funnel for them by coming straight into the eagle with my main push. I can't tell if sending the RC with the root riders is better or not, so I think that's a pretty good sign that if I'm not sure, let's just send the RC with the root riders. That's a pretty nice warden ability. 
Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to get the town hall here. So, what do we do? We overgrowth the town hall, obviously. Okay, we use the skeleton spell. That should tank that monolith perfectly. Notice how I deliberately got that rage spell on the top side. Uh, I made sure I got that in the overgrowth so that those defenses aren't ridiculously OP. Now, my queen's right next to the town hall here. That's perfect. That is perfect. Oh, she, well, she's not right next to it anymore. All right, now she is. Come back and get it. That was... Uh, that freeze was late. I did not want that rage tower going off. I don't think it matters anyway. This looks so wrecked to me. Yeah, I do not need that last freeze spell. We will use it for the sake of it. I mean, this army is ridiculous. Why have I been just spamming root riders this whole time? This is so much better. And believe it or not, I hadn't done this army before today. I haven't used the... Well, obviously I've done root rider spam. But I haven't done this... Uh, jump spell with double wall breaker version of root rider spam before today Not done it once and this is so easy to pick up Double poison tower ring base So we see the CC on the top side of the base even though there's a lot of suey value there I don't want to suey into the the CC dealing with two eye uh, three ice golems not worth it So we're gonna come we're gonna come in from over here. So uh, Sorry, I'm just gonna move the mic a little bit so let's funnel all this. Okay, I might have to use my king to tank because apparently there's a full-blown Tesla farm here. So we'll do that. And I think we'll do the... Yeah, we'll do the root riders on the top side. Or the bottom. Yeah, the bottom side makes more sense. Unfortunately. Oh, queen, you suck. Oh well, the king's still going to get insane value. Let's just... Let's keep my queen alive then. Why not? So the king pulls out the whole CC. It wasn't even a triple ice golem. Interesting. Unfortunately, I missed so many Valks, but I'm not sure how I could have got them anyway. Pretty handy overgrowth value there. I've still got my royal champion. I might use her from this side. Let's see if I can tank the timing. Beautiful. Because otherwise my fox would have been targeted by the ground bow there. Notice how the archer tower went after my fox. If you need any proof on that. Do not open up outside of the base. I tried to use the barb to get rid of that. I still think this is wrecked. Even though this hit went really badly, I still think it's wrecked. Yeah, it's so wrecked, guys. This is ridiculous. This is so ridiculous. Please use this army. Even if you don't get insane value with Yasui, right? My queen went the wrong way. The king goes in. He clears out everything on this side. So all my root riders are parthing the same way through the base. That Sui went horrifically. And we still get the triple on a really toxic double poison tower ring. Same exact formula. So we're running into plenty of ring bases today. And the CC's on this side, so we're going to Sui the top side. No complaints with me anyway. There's a lot of Sui value to get. We're not going to get all the way to the e uh, to the town hall. But that is completely fine with me. We, we don't need to take out the entire base. We just need to get as much of it down as possible. Should be really easy to funnel that off. I'm not going to put my king down too early because I do not want the king to funnel the queen the wrong way. So essentially, as soon as this DE storage goes down, I'll place my king. So the queen comes to the drill. Look at that. Perfect. Unfortunately, the headhunter's not going to live long. I kind of saw that coming. But anything to just slow down the king a little bit. Then we'll do something like this. And root rider spam from the top. Oh, did not place the warden. And look at that. I wasn't even looking. And look at how much the gauntlet can do by himself. By itself, I should say. We've activated both invis towers somehow. That was not my intention. 
Look at these Valks on the bottom side. They're going to put in work. Alright, if they went into the, uh, into the multi there, I would have raged them. Definitely would have raged them. Let's speed up the Root Riders. Oh, we got the second... <laughs> we've got the second wave of Valks coming in on the bottom side. They've all just completely wrecked that area. I mean, yeah, this, this looks toast. This is so wrecked already. Ring bases have no chance. Uh, isolated core bases have no chance. What has any chance against this? I've kept my queen alive the whole time. That's the benefit of the healer puppet. So my unicorn is still alive. But if the unicorn wasn't the healer puppet, you still get the passive healing per second. So I still would have been able to uh, get my queen back up to the health that she's at currently. We'll put you there. I mean... You don't need any more proof. Ladies and gentlemen, this army is broken. Alright, I'm going to admit, I don't know exactly what I should be doing on this base style, but we're going to give it a go yet again. Free CC pull. If you can deal with the CC for free, why not? I definitely should bring an Archer in this comp, but I, I, I blame uh, I blame Mock for that. So I think this Archer Tower is going to be in range, but that's fine. Definitely going to be in range now. That's okay, it's one archer tower. It's not gonna stop my queen uh, getting uh, an insane amount of HP back. With the unicorn, which is getting frozen, but we also have the healer puppet. So I think I'm gonna try and log launch a hero dive uh, all the way to the town hall here. Will it work? Probably not, but if it does, it will look super cool. The queen should come back. Yep. So what I'm going to do is put the jump here. Because I don't want my heroes going in this compartment. But I want to give them an option here. Because the envious tower will go off. So the king would have run all the way outside of the base. If I didn't give him access to this area here. But now he can go back to the town hall. As well, it, it gives them option to do everything, and I cannot see this uh, Sui here not getting insane value. Now we're going to come in with the Root Rider spam over here, with the RC behind it, and I mean, look at that—the Queen's completely decimated the core of this. I don't know why I didn't pop the Warden ability earlier. Let's go right now. Now, there will be a couple of air traps there. No Sams, though. And that queen's going to be alive for such a long time. Oh, my word. This base is so wrecked. What do I even use the overgrowth on? How am I... <laughs> what do you use the overgrowth on in this scenario? Queen, get rid of that invis tower, please. I think we just swag the overgrowth. I think that's what you're meant to do in this scenario. A couple of super bubs around... The Royal Champion's still got heaps of health. And yeah, I mean, this is completely and utterly crushed. No two ways about it. I can use my last freeze on you. Keep the uh, keep the queen alive. RC ability, completely wrecked. Common, the meta bases are not set up to stop these Sueys. And yes, I know Sueys for a lot of you at home might be uh, quite intimidating to do. But the reality is, it's not as hard as you think, as we watch skeletons just spawn. You can see how many skeletons spawn in a skeleton spell now. It's not as hard to do as you think. It, it took me zero attacks. At this point, I am 7 out of 7 with this army in Legends League today. And you can do the exact same. Actually, I might not be 7 of 7. Guys, when did I put the overgrowth down? No way! I didn't look at the... <laughs> I didn't look at the clock when I put the overgrowth down. I'm sorry. I'm six out of seven today because I'm a massive, massive noob. But that will be the outro for this video. By the way, all the attacks you've seen today are on my free-to-play account. So the hero equipment isn't ridiculously high. This crushes the common meta bases that you're seeing. And for me, I can't recommend it to you enough. Oh my lord. Ha <laughs> ha!